Hot one up here, boy. South Florida. Just checking in with y'all. I'm up here in um, Georgia right now. Yeah, I actually got out to Georgia, y'all. I ain't been out of Florida in probably about five months. I've been running, staying in Florida, man. Like about, yeah, about a good five months, four, four and a half months. So it was kind of good to get over back over here in Georgia and see what was going on. But with that um uh yeah with that what do you call it up here in georgia picking up a load going back to florida uh for AutoZone. real good paying load i ain't complaining y'all know i wouldn't even came out here if it wasn't worth my time y'all already know it so hanging in there jumping back into it man you know it's a lot of um, what do you call it um, companies out there that are I'm hearing guys saying that they are um, going to these companies that's telling them they're gonna make you know three four thousand a week five thousand a week and they're finding out that it's not what these companies are saying and it's always been like that you know what I'm saying like it's always been like that and I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure that, um, I'm trying to make sure that, um, I'm, um, I'm multitasking and, and somebody was just trying to call and I'm trying to watch when they have my, tr my truck loaded. But yeah, you know, they are putting out there that they got these, um, they paying these excellent, you know, wages. And you gotta ask yourself, with the market being the way that it is, is it legit? You know, um, I even got hearing guys that from Landstar talking about how they're really struggling and they're feeling it now, you know, they feeling that 35% now, whereas before Landstar was, you know, paying a lot of, um, you know, bread out there and now guys are feeling it you know and you know that if you got a company that's telling you that they're going to give you an astronomical which by our standards five and six grand in this market company i definitely would question that especially if, if it's a company as a company driver now that's that's real crazy but i'm hearing it you know owner operators been saying that a lot um people that I know and they had, they've been having to constantly change companies, change companies and change companies. You know, it's a dog eat dog out here right now, man. Um, and I'm thankful that, you know, I got in when I did, I started uh, my authority when I did because coming in now would have probably been not a good idea. Um, Pre-pandemic, everything was excellent. Post-pandemic, it just really tanked. Um, and you got to be aware for these companies. Plus these fees, man. They're, they're charging these astronomical fees. Trailer rentals and, you know, trailer rentals. I remember when trailer rentals used to be about 100, 125 to, you know, 150 bucks. They're talking about $200, 225 you know on top of the insurance or whatnot speaking of which my insurance has dramatically dropped i'm down to about 1100 bucks a month i'm averaging from 2100 to 1100 bucks i'm definitely happy about that um and part of the reason is because my mileage has dropped for the month i've been averaging for the last several months um 3, miles 
2800 to 3000 So when I get my insurance bill, they have it on my insurance because they can monitor what I drive because I have the device in the truck. Um, but with that being said, they send me my bill and they send me my miles because a lot of my, 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 my premium is based on my mileage. But my other fixed costs, like my cargo and stuff, that never changes. But that premium is what kind of changes based off my mileage. So I have perfected having my mileage down. And like I said, I've been averaging 3,000 miles for a month. And I'm making enough to cover my bills, put some money in my pocket, and that's all I need. Especially in this market, that's all I want to do. And I don't even want to be back out there like that no more, man. I haven't been to OTR in a long time, and you guys know I was going everywhere. Um, you catch me everywhere, man. So, just wanted to give y'all that quick, that quick update, and um, I'm about to jump out here. It looks like they're about finished with the truck. Yeah, it looks like they're about finished with the truck, so I'm going to go ahead and boy, QDZ, double easy, man, just let y'all know I'm still out here doing it, still representing what I'm talking about. Be safe out there and stay cool, man. Stay